To reach the desert, we need to pass through a checkpoint northeast of Haishan. Then let's set off. Perhaps we can ask Carrie to teleport us as far as Haishan. The sands are with us. I'll take the kill. That doesn't even count as exercise.
last one! That's what you get! Just hate resorting to violence. Down you go. 
Not much of a battle. Time to hunt. Right. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. Let us waste no time. Say that was quite straightforward. Stronger, but n
through these mountains is a town called Dabavin, gateway to the desert. After a stop there, we'll strike out for Imperciark. I wonder what Imperciark is like. Right, let's get going. You're with the Alliance, yes? General Cassius told us to expect you. You're free to pass. Very well. Onward and upward. The sands are with us. This is getting out of hand. No! Forgive me. Thank you. The sands are with us. Take that! So long! That doesn't even count as exercise. I am grateful for any opportunity. Waste no time. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
How is everyone feeling? I do hope you aren't too tired. Indeed. We'll see crossing to Imparsiarch in the next town. From Rocky Mountains to the dusty desert, there sure is some tough terrain. Relax, friend. We won't be making the trip on foot. Then, how are we making it, exactly? Oh, I can't tell you. That would ruin the fun. Let us waste no time. Yeah! With you. A nice, smooth hunt. I feel stronger. Time to hunt. There. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's what you get! Experience is strength! All right, what next? Let's head down to the harbor on the east side of town. I'm sorry, this town has a harbor? That's what I said. But there's no water to sail on. What's over there? A ship! I do believe that's a ship! That, my friend, is a Shi'ar craft. A desert-going vessel used by the Shi'ars. That's how they get to and from their capital. Boy... The world really is full of wonders, huh? I'm starting to understand why Lean refuses to sit still. Ahoy there, Scarlet! Got a passenger for you. He's headed to Imperciark. There. Uh, it's Noah. Ye be in luck, Cully. Me, Yorofi's the fastest vessel on the dunes. So it's like a sand ship. Yar! What other kind there be? We Shearks be creatures of the desert. And she our craft are a symbol of our glory. They glide across sand faster than wind can blow. Uh, okay. Just like I told him, there are no prouder warriors anywhere than you Shi'arks. Yeah, sand walkers be living for loyalty, and we be living for glory. Are you ready to sail for Imperciark? Yep, let's go. Yes, it's best we leave as soon as we're ready. All right, you sand guppies, get to work. Hoist those sails, by chum. How fast we're moving! I thought you could only travel like this on the water! Bite your tongue, you scurvy June rat! I'll not be getting near that wet stuff, nor have it mentioned on this ship! Wait, this, seriously? Oi! There's an old myth what says the she orcs used to live in some big. Oh, what's the word? Oshi? Shoshin? I don't know, but ain't a word of it true! <laughs> Why, just the thought of getting me dorsal fin wet makes me shudder from tip to tail! <laughs> huh. 
The more you know, I guess. Just go with it, Noah. Not all that sand is left. Sounds like our passengers be enjoying themselves. Give it more welly, lads. Oh, oh, it goes faster? Did you enjoy the voyage? Very much so. Thank you. Now, let's go see the Shi'ar in charge. Ah, the showmeister? He be at the building at the center of town. This done on my own. Hmm? You there! Knock knock! Who's at the door? Why, it's opportunity! Will you answer? Uh, depends on the door? Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of... it's big game stuff. In fact, maybe a little too big for you. I better find someone tougher. Forget I said anything. Sorry to waste your time. Uh, any idea what that was about? None. I vote we ignore her and go talk to the Schulmeister.
<laughs> hear ye, hear ye! The Shiarcraft race is on! It be open to all, so dive in if your courage be fine! No experience? No problem! We'll teach ye the ropes, show your valor with dorsal fin held high! This be the path to true Shi'ark glory! What's going on there? Sounds like a Shi'ark craft race. It's a race using ships like the one you rode here, except a whole lot bumpier. It must be quite a thrill.
We'll be meeting with Scholmeister Skid. Oh, and Scholmeister is what the Shi'arks call their leader. The Shi'arks are fellow mercenaries I'm on good terms with, so I'm thinking Skid should at least lend us an... ear? Just be aware, they have a different mindset than we do. What do you mean? means different things to different people, and everyone's got a reason for taking lives and risking their own. For me and my kind, war is simply a way to put food on the table, and the only life we've ever known, for the most part. For the Shi'arks, though? Different. How exactly? Probably better for you to hear it from the source. Let's get inside. Guess I never really thought about it that way. So basically, you'd be wanting us to join your battle against the Empire. Yes. Duke Zaldric is plotting a war of conquest against the League, for no reason other than to sate his ambitions. We are gathering allies to fight back. This be no wee skirmish, Cully. Sounds like any joining your side would be risking their very lives. Do you disagree, Infarnard? No, I think you have the right of it. Not that that would amount to a particularly novel situation for us mercenaries. The Sawads are already contracted to Eucris, and may the sand swallow us if we ever break a contract. Yar. Are we asking too much?
We thank you for inviting us to participate in so glorious a war. Uh, does that mean you'll help us? Aye, but on one condition. For there be no glory to be found in a war if the commander has no valor. Which means we need to see your worth, by champ. Will you prove it to us now or no? Of course I will. Ha! <laughs> I applaud your conviction, Noah. Wasn't sure you'd agree quite so readily. So, how do you expect him to do this, Skid? The Shiarcraft race! The Shiarcraft race! That race they were talking about earlier? So if we want the Shi'arks as our allies, I have to win this race? Skid didn't say anything about winning it. I think an adequately impressive performance should be enough. Show them what we're made of! Alright, let's head to the town square. Any other entrance? Ain't no one looking to prove their mettle? Okay, there it is. Look, you're here to enter the race! Hi, this be a rare sight, <laughs> but an impressive one. Uh... Oh, <laughs> no worries, Cully. I'll personally train ye into a proper Shiarcraft captain. <laughs> I be... Eupharius the Seventh. But you'll be calling me coach by chum. Now, get ready and keep up. Wait. Hmm. That sound judgment from the Schulmeister. I'll just have to work ye that much harder. Ah, now then, what be your name? It's Noah, coach. <laughs> Excellent response, Noah. Our training begins now. Be ye ready! Bet I'm ready, coach. Then your training starts now. Yes, coach. Is it me, or does Noah seem more eager than usual?
That concludes our training. Very impressive, Cully. Thank you, Coach. Now rest up at the inn, so ye be ready for the race tomorrow. Yes, Coach. I'm ready to hustle, Coach. Wow. This guy's really done a number on Noah. <laughs> right? Let's get you some rest before you collapse. Where is this inn? The Rippling Sands. Rest well, my chum. Go get yourself a good night's rest. And don't get so excited about the race you don't sleep, all right? I hear you. But I'm really fired up about it. It's gonna be so much fun! <laughs> Just take it easy, Tiger. This next race is something special. Has me trembling with excitement down to the tip of me tail fin. We be having a special racer today. He sent the imps running at his shan, and now he leads the alliance. He be the one, the only, the Noah. Go on, play to the crowd. This Cully is going to war against the Empire, and he be asking for the help of the Shi'arks. But first, he's going to prove his valor on the sands. This race be telling us whether he's got the teeth or he's all fin. <laughs> Now, let the race begin! This be it, Cully. This be what you trained for. Yes, Coach. Of course, Coach. I'm gonna hustle and win, Coach. Uh, maybe reel that enthusiasm in a bit. Just try to hit second place. That should be more than enough to impress them. Got it. If your fins be groomed and sharp, let's go! Let me at him, coach! <laughs> then go give him hell! Ah, uh, not good. I'm gonna flay every last fleck of paint off this useless rust bucket and feed it to you while you sleep! I'm afraid that won't cut it. I'm sorry, guys. We came all this way, but now... 
Yar! Don't be letting that docile fin sag, Cully! Valor ain't in results! It be in your heart! R really? Corso! Ain't that right, Schulmeister? Aye, indeed. Though ye be losing, ye never turned your tail fin. Ain't no dishonor in that. Then, can I request a rematch? Aye, that be the spirit! Everyone, we'll be running a new race! Lift up your head and show them what you're really capable of, Noah! You got it, coach. That's the spirit! Yeah. Hmm. I did it! Yes! I must admit, I'm impressed. <laughs> spectacular, Cully! Absolutely spectacular! What a battle! And such incredible spirit, my champ! Have I seen a dorsal fin stand so tall? Three cheers for Noah! You ran an incredible race, Cully, and we see your valor fair and true. Then you're satisfied? I am. We Shearks would be honored to join your alliance. We'll show ye how a shoal of Shearks can chew apart even so mighty a foe as the Empire. Thank you very much. You did it, Noah. This is a relief. And since a valorously run race deserves a prize to match, this be for you. And I have something more. The greatest gift we Shearks can bestow.
Fine work, Cully. You're clearly a man worthy to be entrusted with me life. Coach? Not anymore, Cully. Just call me Eupharius. We she art stand ready to fight whenever ye be needing us. As such, we be giving ye our finest warrior and the head of our defense force, Eupharius the Seventh. And I'll be serving ye with as much sandpapery grit as I got on me own skin. <laughs> Thank you all. It'll be me pleasure to fight at your side, Noah. It's an honor to have you co- Oh, <laughs> I mean, Eupharius. So, the Alliance's castle be that way, Yar. Let's hustle! Is he gonna be okay? Looks like he intends to cross the desert by himself. Which reminds me, we should probably be heading back as well. Had a fine race, Cully. Can I talk you into one more? If you emerge victorious, I'll join your army. Am I ever? Let's do this. There be the sandpapery grit I was hoping for. We'll try our fins at a different course. If ye can beat our time, then victory is yours! That other race. We only used half our sails out of fairness to the newcomer, but now the gloves come off! Of course, that's not accounting for the difference in the crafts themselves, so really it's more like half of half the advantage. Now are you ready?
loss by a tooth's length, but a loss all the same. If you want my help, you'll have to try again. I stand ready for a rematch any time. No self-respect in she -arc turns her dorsal fin from a challenge. Come for a turn. Am I ever? Let's do this. Ready for that rematch, Cully? You've got gumption, and I like that just fine. Form. Oh, and now I know for certain you're a man who's got me dorsal fin. So, you'll join us? In a heartbeat. And water splash me if I be lying, Cully. Henceforth, me and the Eurofi are at your service. Thanks, Scarlet. With that settled, where do we sail to first? I'll take you to the sand's farthest horizon. Violent.
Let us waste no time. I dare say that was quite straightforward. Just hate resorting to violence.
try not to fall asleep. Emperor Shiark, self-defense force captain, you Eufarious the Seventh, reporting for duty. It's a pleasure to have you. Well, I guess our work is done. Thanks to you, we can now call upon the Shiaks for aid. That just leaves Sane's group. I wonder how they're faring. Their operation remains underway, Mom. In fact, I was just about to return to the Empire to check on their progress. Have I leave to depart? Go ahead, Hildy. Although knowing Sane, I bet he's doing just fine. I am sure you're correct, sir. I'll return with good news as swiftly as possible. Lieutenant? <sighs> Will you attempt to see your father, sir? As the Dukes' men are certain to be watching, it will require sneaking in. Another time, perhaps. How goes our progress in the mean? Second Lieutenant Valentine has been using his extra time here to scout locations. He's chosen a safe house in Lowtown, on the west side of the city. Shall we join him?
So where's this safe house? The second lieutenant said we'd know once we got there. Subtle. Do it just like we discussed. Those pursuers might not be far behind. Leave it to us, Val. If someone don't belong, we'll sniff them out a league away. Huh? Say, ain't you that rich Kessling kid? Sorry, no. <laughs> All right, I get it. Well, no worries, stranger. Any friend of Val's is a friend of ours. I'll be seeing you. You both made it. Good. Who were those lovely chaps? Oh, just some old companions. Just because I made it into officer school by the skin of my teeth doesn't make me any less of a low-towner. Some around here still look up to me. What's this about pursuers? If you mean is anyone after us, then yes, I'm sure they are. But we were discussing something else. I pulled strings at the Intelligence Bureau to find out which factions have ill feelings about Aldrich's power grab. But ill feelings or no, no one's willing to openly oppose him. Not even General Goldwyn? Nope. No question how he feels. But without proof of who offed the Emperor, he's not ready to move. Aldrich dispatched General Goldwyn to Eucris just before the assassination. So he might quickly solidify his power base here. The Dukes has been thorough. Yes, indeed. But not completely so. I have a lead. Do tell. Paul, bring him in. It's all right. They're friends. My name is Sane Kessling. And who are you? Call me Ivy. Yeah, Yalu, sir. These girls are your lead. Yep. And they've got one head spinner of a tail. It's 
So the two of you escaped from Aldrich's Rune Lens research facility? Yes, sir. My people and I were taken from our village against our will. I had no hope of escape, let alone returning home. But then Ivy here came to my rescue. I was working at the facility as an engineer, but no one ever talked about what went on in the back of the place. And since being left in the dark gets me steamed, I decided to poke around and find out. Based on her description, Miss Yelu's village sounds like it's part of the Norsefarian territory that was ceded to the Empire. Is it possible your people were the whole reason Aldric sought its annexation? All I know is that the Chaldeans were trying to search the nearby rune barrow, sir. But I did hear him say they ran into trouble with the Guardians. If I had to guess, I'd say they found our village purely by chance. As for why they abducted us... That's the same power as a rune lens. But where's the lens? Some of us villagers, like my brother and myself, are born with the power of rune lenses inside us. That terrible masked lady working for the Empire picked up on it and immediately had us all locked up. Wait, hang on. They locked up the entire village! Yes. My mother, my father, even my little brother. Forced internment? But why? Obviously not for anything good. When I heard all this, I figured others needed to know. So I went and sprung Yelu from the facility. But there was only room in my tool chest to smuggle her or her brother out. Couldn't do both. He stayed behind so I could escape. We managed to shake the Dukes' pursuers. Next thing we know, we'd wound up here. We came across them not far from here while hiding the rune tank. Although... We nearly had a situation with Ivy and her rune arms when she thought we were Imperial goons. And I'm still sorry about that! <laughs> no worries. Though I wouldn't want to tangle your arms again anytime soon. <laughs> I know, I know. I goofed. Please, sir. My family and the other villagers need your aid. Will you help them? What do you say? If the Dukes' actions violate Imperial law, we might be able to turn the tide by making this affair public. Also... Also? The Imperial Army I know would never stand for this kind of behavior. He's acting like a damn tyrant. Now that's the spirit. So long as we're committing treason, might as well make it mean something. So the plan is to infiltrate the Dukes' research facility, rescue the villagers, and expose this whole mess, right? Not quite. My apologies, Yelu. We may not be able to free your people right away. It may have to wait until we can make the Dukes' actions public. I'll take whatever help I can, sir. Thank you. We can take Silver, I mean the room tank, most of the way to the facility. I hid her over on the east side of town. Let's head there first. Come on! 
on, Yelu. Let's go. Okay. Maroon Tank will get us to the facility faster than you can say, Paul's a genius! And my rune arms will smack the bad guys into next week! Uh, thank you. That cheers me somewhat. Right. Let's get moving. We're in business. This is incredible. I'm a long way from designing runic tech on this scale. I don't know. Your arms trace the movements of your body, right? If you ask me, that kind of microtech is the real wonder. Aw, <laughs> you're a sweetie. It's time we departed. All set here! Still, Guardhaven Castle. If that's where we're headed, we're in for one wild ride. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be so dangerous. But... We know what has to be done. And nothing will deter us from doing it. Even if it means infiltrating Aldrich's own stronghold. Right. Let's get this done. This is as close as I can bring her without being spotted. Remember, we're not here to storm the castle. All we have to do is sneak into the Rune Lens research facility where the villagers are being held. We shouldn't encounter much resistance between here and my workshop. But past that, sentries galore. Perhaps it's best for you to stay here and leave this to us, Miss Yelu. Please, ma'am. I want to go. If I'm with you, the villagers are more likely to trust you. And besides, I should help. The 
first order of business is to find out what they're up to in the back of that facility. I'm guessing it ain't gonna be pretty. Uh. Second Lieutenant. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. You, stand by and make sure the room tank is ready to go at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. All right, let's move. Without incident. Ah, I never stop impressing. Let's get this over with. any doubt. This was a valuable experience.
Strange. I thought we'd encounter more guards. Where are they? Low-ranking soldiers are forbidden from coming here, just like us engineers. Although, I always figured the place was full of, you know, high-ranking ones. M Master Sane! Over there! Let's get this over with. What? Here oh. we go. Take this! I've got you. Thanks, Yalu. It's in your hands. Oh, nice save! Not good. Yes. I'm not room. Don't you fail me, Rune. I'll take care of you. Calibrated. Activating. You've got to be kidding me. Try this. Are I'm you all right? This. Appreciate it, guys. I've got you, Paul. Thanks. Uh, no, I. Yalo! I'm sorry. Thanks. <coughs> I'm not giving up. Situation yeah. dire. Are you so okay? Thank you, Miss Guardian. What? You've got to be You'll kidding me. What? The rest oh, is in your hands. Down. Let's try this. I'll take care of you. Thanks. On your feet. Appreciate that. Master Sane. Thanks. No. I'm in trouble. Oh, no. I'm in bad shape. Are you? I'm sorry. I'm down. I'm coming for you. Should I? Here. You can do this. You all right? Thank you. Hildy? I thank you, what? second lieutenant. Now this isn't funny. The rest lieutenant. is in your hands. Hildy? I thank you, second lieutenant. What? Now this isn't funny. Here. You can do this. Thanks. Here Gah. we go. The rest I'm is in your you. hands. Let's get this over with. There! Ha -ha! Sword! Calibrated! Oh! Activating! What? Oh! Not like this!
Lieutenant. I know. They look just like the enemies we faced in the Rune Barrows. But how did they get here? Let's try this. Are you all right? Predictable outcome. Incident. 
Very informative. Any doubt? The area ahead looks promising. I must be getting nervous because I'm hearing voices in my head. Whatever we're doing, we better do it fast. Agreed. But first... Are these the villagers? Yes, Your Grace. <sighs> the Guardians have been hindering our progress through the Norsefarian Barrows, but finding that place was a windfall. A rune lens placed in a village in order to hide and protect it. <laughs> Simply fascinating. Milu, no! What are you going to do to us? And what have you done with my mother and father? Well, well. Aren't you a brave lad? Rune lenses are fickle and unreliable and reserve their blessings for only a chosen few. Some of whom, like yourself, are imbued with their power from birth. I think you can agree that's not very fair. What's your point? If all humanity is to take advantage of the Rune Lens's gifts, the nature of such gifts must first be elucidated. 
History demands we walk down this path. The righteous path. Do you not agree? Still don't get what this has to do with us. See you that? It is a primal lens. The wellspring from which rune lenses derive their power. If we unravel its secrets, we can launch humanity into a bold new future. But I'm going to need your help for that young man. You will help me, won't you? Help? Is that what my parents are doing? And the other villages you stole? The Primal Lens does not give its secrets easily. It requires sacrifice. Sacrifice? Wait, you killed them? You killed them? comes at a blood price. And humanity must attain its destiny! Where are we? What's going... There! Over there! You do! <laughs> if it isn't the Kessling whelp. Mule all you want, boy. But I've no regret for my actions. Don't you dare gloat! How could you harm those innocent people? A necessary sacrifice. That much should be clear. Shut up! I offered House Kessling my favor! And you repay me with this folly! <laughs> what you are doing is wrong! What I do is for the greater good! Something your small mind could never comprehend. You'd rather keep your hands clean than secure a future for your people? Damn right I would! Good! Don't be so full of yourself! Says the boy with no vision whatsoever. It is time you learned your place. Ah! You 
keep your Damn right I would! A shame. The world could have used your talent. But you will see before you die. Doing giving you one small glimpse of the primal lens's power. Sane Milo Milo Yalu is that. You? Aldrich! Help me understand something, little Kessling. How does one born into nobility and gifted with such incredible talent sink to treachery against his motherland? It's not... It's not treachery to do the right thing. Oh, this should be good. Do tell. If the cause were just, I would gladly lay down my life for Galdia. But this war was predicated on a lie. You wove fictions about other nations in order to declare a meaningless war! You killed His Excellency the Emperor so he couldn't stop you! And now you're murdering innocent people to draw out the lens's power! There is no justification for your actions! None! <laughs> Pathetic! Is that flaccid reasoning really the best you can muster? In the grand flow of history, no one will remember or care that you had scruples! It is insignificant! That's how small men think. Small men with no vision for their country. All the same, I will do what is right. You will not shame or scare me away from it. Then it is time you vanished from the pages of history as all small-minded men must. Master Sane! Lieutenant! They escaped! Shall I pursue them? Yes. Take the prototypes! Let the boy taste the fruit of his contributions! As you command. Right? I've stopped the bleeding and dressed the wound as best I can. He'll live. 
it'll be all right, sis. Oh, Milu. It's okay. I'll find a way to help the kid. What do we do now, Lieutenant? The Dukes will doubtless send pursuers after us. All villagers, listen to me. I will assign soldiers to protect you, follow their lead, and escape into the forest. Then remain hidden. But what if we can't get away? You will. Because we're going to draw the pursuer's attention. How? With silver... Uh, I mean, with a silver blaze of glory from my very inanimate ring tank. Exactly. And while we're making a fuss, you run in the other direction as fast as your legs can carry you. All right, we'll try. We're moving out shortly. Be ready. Yes, sir. It would be imprudent. Ready when you are, Sane. Just one more moment. All right. It would be a We good to go? Begin the operation. Yes, sir. She'll be at peak pressure momentarily. We've decided we're gonna help. I want a chance to stick it to that bloated gas bag. Yes. Please take us with you. It's going to be dangerous. I don't care. The Dukes has to pay. Technology is supposed to bring people happiness. What he's doing is... It's just wrong. I was too late to help my mother and father. And so many others. But I can still protect Milu and the villagers that are left. Please! <sighs> All right. Hop aboard. Thank you. Regret this. We're leaving. See that the villagers get to safety. Yes, ma'am. This way, everyone. you down sometimes, but I promise I'll never let anyone hurt you again. Come on, Milu! We have to go! Take care of him, alright? The tank is leaving! Move, move, move! Commence operation Let's Bust Out of Here. Followed by Operation Crazy Havoc. Hey! 
Any sign of the... Not yet, sir. I don't like this. Maybe we need to make a bigger scene. I could fire another round toward the castle. We could try. Um... I think... Where? Ready to intercept. Feel it? Without incident. This was a valuable experience. What was that? Don't be a. Yes. We've seen. I'm talking. Save the chat. Brace for battle. Okay, what's going on? This one and the last were both fitted with rune lenses. And regules too. A monster with a fully kitted lens. I really hope the Dukes isn't making those things in his facility. Over there! Well... You! Those monsters... Enough. How you could call any part of this? I agree. For the sake of. You won't sway me from my path! Power punch! This might 
it hurt. Here, are you all right? Yes. Got you. Get him! Activating arm lens. Yes, Got you. I start work. Yes.
I never had any doubt. on our side. We'll never lose to you! Oh, then we'll just try another. Nope! No more monsters! Hold on, everybody. I've got one more trick up my sleeve, and it's a doozy! What are you... Compression combustor! Fire! What is necessary? And that's everything we saw and heard at Guardhaven Castle. <sighs> and what would you have me do with this? I trust you to decide, Father. There's no evidence. Even if I did get this to General Goldwyn, nothing would come of it. Save the Duke's wrath. I know. As the head of House Kessling, I must put the protection of our family first. Your actions amount to treason against the Empire, and I cannot condone them. Now leave before your mother notices your home. I understand. Once I go, I promise to never return. Thank you for all the sacrifices you made for me, Father. Why, Sane? Uh, my brother told me time and again. Arthur. Yes. He always said, the greatest glory comes from doing right. I see. Goodbye, Father. I told you I could not condone your actions as the head of House Kessling, but as a father, I could not be prouder of both of my boys. Stand by your principles, my son. Yes, sir. mood, are we?
a kitchen fit for a king. Please come by anytime. Right there. Damned thief! Ha <laughs> ha! You think you can catch the mighty Fay? Not a chance. Not even half a one. <laughs> See ya, suckers! Except I actually won't, because I'll be too far away! <laughs> <sighs> Damn it! She got away again! What the heck is going on here? That girl's a thief. She sneaks into our food warehouses, trashes the place stuffing her face, and then makes off with the choicest snacks. That's, uh, what, the third time now? She's so damn fast, we can never keep up with her. A thief, huh? Isn't there some other way we can catch her? We've tried setting traps, but they never work. And we've tried tracking her, but the trail always goes cold. We figure she's hiding out somewhere in town, but we can't figure out where. If only I were back home, I'd just ask Bababa. Who? Oh, right. So I'm from the town of Dafan. You know, near Haishan. Wherever mysteries turn up, we ask Bababa to solve them. She can answer anything. So she's like a seer? Yeah, something like that. Bababa would know exactly where that weasley little sneak is hiding. The Baba from the town of Define, huh? This shouldn't be hard. Yeah! 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 
I have been expecting you, Noah of the Alliance. Huh? You know who I am? I know many things. I see. So you're like a fortune teller? Strictly speaking, no. Rather the opposite. I see not what will be, but what has been. Traces remain for those who can see it. So you predict the past? The past lays the road that leads to the present and travels thence onwards. Those who can follow its twists and turns may see glimpses of where it leads. In that sense, it is similar to predicting the future. But to answer your initial query, I am a spirit medium. Really? Now, let us be on our way. I'm sorry? You intend to lead the Alliance to victory, do you not? To do so, you must learn the locations of like-minded fellows, so that you may gather them to your cause. Nothing is accomplished in an empty room. With my powers, I can help you fill it. I do not offer you a choice in this matter. Having met you face to face, it is clear to me that you must be the victor of this war. So you're going to help us? I have already explained just that. Having anticipated this, my bags are packed and ready for the journey. Besides, that little girl needs our help. Do not worry. I know exactly where your town lies. I will leave for it at once.
Yes? is really do have a radiance all their own. Bet I could make this little butte shine even more, but I'd have to get my hands on a rune of... Hmm? What do you want? I'm busy, so could you come back later? Unless you happen to be carrying a rune of currents, in which case, step right up and let's talk. To complete this research I'm working on. Oh, what I give to be taken under his wing again. He was such an inspiration. You there. If you hear anything about a man named Gokto establishing a guild, would you let me know? I am determined to work for him. Oh. You there. If you hear anything about a man named Gokto establishing... You spotted me. Hmm, that's impressive, to be honest. Listen, whatever you do, just don't try to drag me out of this bag, okay? If you even think about it, I'll get really, really mad. I'm not trapped in here or anything. It's just so comfy. Why would I ever want to leave? I make magical store packs, you see. And some guy was so desperate for one that he kept trying to yank me out and steal mine. So naturally I ran away. And now here I am. <laughs> you know, if you happen to have a, a safe, not full of thieves place for me to work, I'd be happy to snuggle down there and handle all your bag-making needs. So, uh, any questions? Comments? Compliments? Join us. <laughs> I totally nailed that negotiation. My name's Nell, by the way. If you need a sack, that's just my bag. Get it? Okie doke. I'll head over to your town.
So that's how Nell gets around. Baba, you're here. This woman is the seer you were talking about. Yeah, we're gonna get that Weasley sneak for sure now. Ah, Noah has joined us. So we're trying to locate a thief. Her name is Faye, I think. Yes, allow me. Zipper de lips, oh pad of mind, Shablooey! I see. We must seek out a swaggering man, rosy clad and brashly so. Hmm, who could that be? Somebody loud and dressed in pink? Kid, you want to do big things, you gotta pump those muscles. Don't you want to be the greatest like me? <sighs> I already am the greatest, the mighty Fae, the greatest, swiftest, sneakiest thief in the world. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe you are. Let's you and me tear this city up. Right where Bababa said she'd be. Oh, rats! You thugs found my safe haven! Well, you're not catching me! See ya! Yeah! She got away again! What the hell, Noah? You got some beef with a little girl? I do. She's been stealing food from the Alliance. Uh, damn, really? I thought she reminded me of my old life. But stealing ain't right! I see her again. I'll nab her for you, okay? Thanks, Yusuke. I appreciate that. I can't believe she gave us the slip! Guess we'll need to ask Bababa again.
Baba Baba. She was right where you said she'd be. But she managed to slip away again. Can we ask you for another vision? Ah, good. Now that Noah has joined us. Zipadalips, oh pad of mind, shablui! I see. We must seek out a mouth most vulgar and foul, veiled in a sheath of ivory elegance. Hmm, who could that be? Somebody who's rude and wears white? A little sweetheart, Fay. There's the Weasley sneak. We have you now. Time to get what's coming to you. Huh? Who the hell did you just call a Weasley sneak? There's a child present, you rat face piece of scum. Want me to rip your tongue out and beat you to death with it? Boop! Yikes! Time to execute my super secret exit move. Running away really fast! Hey, sweetie! Where are you going? I am so terribly sorry, Noah. Faye has been stealing? I just can't believe it. I'm afraid so. Food is flowing out of the Alliance stores and into her stomach. Oh, Faye. You there, soldiers. Y yes might I beg a boon of you? Faye must have a good reason for what she's doing. So when you catch her, please treat her with more kindness and mercy. R right. It's just, um, with thieves. Oh, don't you make me! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I'm so sorry, Bababa. She got away again. The Weasley Sneak used Francesca for protection. Do not worry. I foresee this will all come to a close soon enough. Zipper de lips, so pad of mind, shablooey! I see. We must seek out a pair joined in friendship. One minute, one mammoth. Hmm, who could that be? Somebody small with a large friend? Noah, before you go, she needs someone to listen. Will you do that? 
Of course, Bababa. 